Hello everyone, Neil from Merch Informer here. Today I want to do a video going over how to do your trademark searches because I know that there has been a ban wave going out and people are freaking out and apparently they did not learn their lesson on how to do proper USPTO checks and keep up on their trademarks for the items and phrases that they are using on shirts. So we're in here inside of Merch Informer and let's just say we are doing a search in the Merge Hunter for the keyword anti. So we would enter that and click search, and that'll bring up the top 100 bestsellers for this keyword. And you can come down and you only notice there's a few. So maybe you come up here and you search 100,000 above, same keyword, hit search. You're coming down and here we see this. Best ante ever, right? So it's in a good BSR range. It's selling pretty well. And we need to know, okay, is this phrase available to use on a shirt? So you can take this phrase and head over to the USPTO trademark database. If you just Google test, this is what we want to use right here. You'll come to this page and you can click search trademarks. We want to do a basic word mark search and simply enter the phrase in here. Phrases entered in, hit submit query, and this is what pops up. Now, as you can see, it says Bay Best Anti Ever, and you might see this and say, oh, it's live, but it's missing a few things. One, it has a serial number, but it has no registration number yet. Okay, so it you do see it is for t-shirts, but it has no registration number, which means the process isn't complete. So this is what you need to do. You need to click the TSDR button right here, and it's going to tell you exactly what step of the process the mark is under. So if you read this, it's been accepted by the office and has met the minimum filing requirements, but that's about it. So there, I mean, you can go through, you can read the mark information, you can see what goods and services they've applied for, who actually applied for this specific trademark. You can come in here and read everything, but as we see, it's not actually finished yet and it is not for the exact word mark we wanted to put on a shirt it's got this qualifier in there so it is actually a different mark so you, we would be able to use best anti ever so coming back to merch informer another thing that people often get tripped up on is that you know six months seven months eight months down the line someone might actually get a trademark on this specific phrase so I always tell people to head over to the trademark alerts and simply enter it in here. So it'll look like this. So you'll type in the phrase, you'll click save, and down here it will show up. Now the system will check it for you once every 24 hours, but since we just added it, it'll say not checked yet. Simply click check trademarks. And there you can see it is a success. So if you just added a trademark, you can go in and check it out. Hit check trademarks. And there you go. It is safe because there is nothing showing up in USBTO for, with a serial number and a registration number. You can come back and check this every single day. And if the status changes, so if someone actually does get a trademark on this phrase, this will change to an X. It will allow you to go in there, actually take a look on the USBTO website, determine if you need to take your shirt down and kind of what you should do great tool to keep track of all the trademarks and all the different phrases you're using on a shirt so you don't get burned down the line but the most important thing is when you do a search make sure you are clicking on that little tsdr button at the top if you do come across a mark it needs to be the exact mark you are looking for it needs to have a serial number and a registration number in order to be live and enforceable and finally make sure you are actually you know tracking your trademarks in order to be safe down the line all right that's going to be it for today if you have any questions drop them below make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks